today's video we have the following content. CCTV's execution judge was favored by the audience, but it was asked to stop broadcasting. Why is there constant criticism? 2024 is already halfway through, and various programs are being staged. After a large number of old dramas such as The Great River, River Water, and Sea and Sky Eagle took the lid, a batch of new works continue to emerge. Another TV series on the theme of the Supreme Court's justice, Judge Execution, is on the air. The addition of powerful actors such as Luo Jin, Yang Zishan, Zhao Jun, and Serena, as well as the introduction of positive themes, have made the audience full of expectations for this drama. I really don't understand why Judge Execution can't even be ranked in the top 10 after the sixth day of broadcast. It's incredible. Needless to say, this movie is another flawed domestic TV series with a stereotype plot. The male and female protagonists deliberately create conflicts, and finally resolve their differences and move forward hand in hand. Of course, it's not just because of this. Let's take a look at how bad the theme drama of Law & Order is. After watching one episode, I never want to watch it again. At the beginning of the play, Chu Yun, the president of the court played by Yang Zishan, led the soldiers to enforce the hotel. During this period, Chu Yun's harsh treatment of the law enforcement process and his unprofessional performance aroused heated discussions among netizens. Chu Yun did not take out any documents, police badges, badges or the like, but simply said one sentence. If he was not surrounded by colleagues in uniform, he would be regarded as a liar. Such a big battle, but the customers in the store did not react at all, as if they did not see it. If it were in the real world, we would definitely prick up our ears and take out our mobile phones to enjoy the gossip. The incident with the grandmother was too ridiculous. This is the first time I have seen so much money given to a daughter. The screenwriter is really talented, and the plot is like entering another world. The patriarchal system you are referring to, does it mean that your parents gave your brother 50,000 to start a company since he was a child, but did not give your sister 200,000 tuition? Give your brother 50,000, at least you will get something in return. Once you hand over the 200,000 yuan sponsorship, I'm afraid there will be no response. The younger brother was very successful in business and earned money to build a house for his parents. Unexpectedly, the house was demolished and he didn't get a penny. Instead, he sued his father in court. In my opinion, this case is bizarre enough, but the result is even more bizarre. The daughter wanted to live alone, with no money, no job, and no one to take care of her. When the hero came to visit her and gave her a bowl of medicine, she was relieved. After watching this episode, I can't help but I recalled the scene of being forced to make dumplings on the Spring Festival Gala. Although the executioner may be understated, it is also a respect for reality. For example, Keelan's aunt Kiru Nayu, played by Serena, and Fang Dachung's aunt, played by Zhao Jun, both showed disbelief when facing law enforcement officers. When he knew that he might go to jail for giving the store to his son due to a fake signature, Fang Dachung immediately confessed. Kiru Nayu neither admitted nor exposed his son's evil deeds, but just turned around and picked up the broom. Kama waved it carelessly, and didn't let anyone get close. These two different behaviors reflect real life. When his son made a mistake, the father tried his best to cover it up, while the mother pretended to know nothing. The mother instinctively protected the only breadwinner of the family, although she also knew that she had to deal with the matter rationally. Although the protagonist Ki Lin, as a law enforcer, also knew to avoid suspicion, he was still upset about the arrest of his aunt who raised him, and he had to find someone to solve the matter anyway. This behavior is between the law and the law, which is both reasonable and humane, and makes the character of Zilin vivid. To be honest, after watching these clips, I thought everyone would think this was a real movie. Surprisingly, most of the comments said that they didn't like the heroine. Although Yang Yang's furry appearance attracted the attention of the audience, the bottom-up shot made his face look very weird. The technical effect and close-up technology made her already old face more swollen and her skin loose. Yang Jishin is a selfless Avenger. His performance was expressionless and almost without any body movements, which was a perfect portrayal of the wax figure. It is said that this hero also suffered from mania, but this situation has never been heard of before. Ki Lin, the actor played by Luo Jin, wore tights as soon as he entered the door, and said that he was shameless, I will not speak to you like a judge. This is too shameless, if Ki Lin was not a judge, it would be so easy to meet the president. Chu Yun's family conditions are very good, and he doesn't understand why Ki Lin made such a mistake. Faced with such lawless and lawless colleagues, 
Chu Yun often couldn't help but shoot himself in the head with a gun, including hatred. Then, Qi Lin said, I have had the highest case settlement rate in the court for three consecutive years. It is obvious that he's fantasizing about the glory of the past again, but there are no specific cases. Regardless of whether the audience can see how capable Xi Lin is at work from the years as a judge, his repeated violations and handling cases have aroused doubts from the audience. If you still don't understand, then keep reading. Chu Yun was worried that he would get into trouble because of this incident in the future, so she kindly asked him to recite all the relevant standards. Because he was used to being loved and admired on weekdays, Qi Lin was asked to recite a book, thinking that Chu Yun was deliberately making things difficult for him. But Chu Yun's side was the loudest in opposition. Although Qi Lin's case was not over yet, everyone's thoughts changed because he blocked the chainsaw. I really don't understand why Yang Lulu is so obsessed with Qi Lin. Maybe this role is not attractive enough. In addition to knowing the details of the old lady case, Silin also found his brother. I went to the seafood market at 3 o'clock in the morning, and then at 3 o'clock in the morning. He didn't know why the protagonist was so surprised. You haven't suffered since you were a child, right? Isn't there always such a story in your family? You act like a wealthy noble who comes here to try your life, but occasionally mentions that you are an orphan. Not long after Ki Lin became a law enforcer, he joined the law enforcer team. At the beginning, he and Chu Yun cooperated tacitly, one hard and one soft, one hard and one soft. On the contrary, Yang Jishin has no trace of the iron-blooded coldness that a president should have. Instead, he looks like a kindergarten teacher, giving people a kind and amiable feeling. During the day, Qi Lin obviously noticed that there was something wrong with the grass, but he did not insist on checking it immediately, but waited until after get off work in the evening to deal with it privately. Is this just to highlight the protagonist's persistence in the case? His expression of not smiling or laughing is really hard to empathize with. Therefore, when Chu Yun judged Qi Lin, he inevitably brought his own prejudices and strong personal emotions. Because of the age gap and the fierce dialogue between middle-aged men and women, the audience was not interested in this drama. Yang Jishin had a stern face, which was completely different from the previous two extremes, which made people feel distressed. Her unforgettable beauty in the film to youth makes people wonder why she has to rely on beauty to change herself. Compared with the heroine played by Yang Zishin, the male lead played by Luo Jin is even more unacceptable. His dark skin and a face that looked a little swollen due to excessive ironing gave people a very uncomfortable feeling, and in the eyes of others, it was more of a rudeness. On him, the delicate and beautiful skin before can no longer be seen. After a man gets married, there is always a short period of explosive growth. The appearance is not good, and the acting skills are not good. The two male protagonists are expressionless, and their acting skills have risen sharply. This is a shoddy domestic TV series with a rough plot, exaggerated characters, terrible acting skills, old-fashioned style, and a great discount on the overall level. No wonder it did not enter the top 10. Next news. Facts prove it. Luo Jin, 42, is on his way to becoming a non-famous actor. Luo Jin was born in an ordinary family in Yijin, Zhangzi. His father is a hospital sergeant and his mother is a nurse. When he was a child, he was naughty and active, often got into trouble, and was a little ancestor in the eyes of his neighbors. In order to correct these problems, his parents decided to send him to a local martial arts school for discipline. In the martial arts school, he underwent strict physical and style training, and his personality gradually became calm and introverted. Luo Jin developed a strong interest in drama in high school and starred in many dramas at school. After he was admitted to the acting department, he began his dream of becoming an actor. At first, he was uneasy about his appearance, thinking that his facial lines were a bit rough and his eyebrows revealed some fierceness, which was far from the handsome idol that the public liked at the time. Fortunately, in college, a teacher encouraged him, you should cherish your unique long-lasting charm and don't stick to the stereotyped aesthetic definition. This sentence greatly inspired Luo Jin and made him realize that everyone has their own unique temperament. From then on, he no longer had many concerns and really devoted himself to the study of acting. Beijing Film Academy Advanced Studies In 2002, Luo Jin graduated from the Beijing Film Academy and embarked on a new acting career. During his time at school, he honed his acting skills in various ways and actively participated in every opportunity to practice acting. Once, when he was wandering at the door of a cafe outside the school, he was mistaken for a laborer by the producer and was invited to guest star in the sitcom Stories from the Sales Office. Although it was just a small role, 
Luo Jin devoted himself to this performance. He accurately grasped the tone and posture of the migrant workers on the construction site, and his performance full of life won unanimous praise from the director and the audience. This unexpected experience made Luo Jin realize that no matter how big or small the role is, as long as you perform it with your heart, someone will appreciate it. He really entered the film and television industry smoothly and officially started his acting career. After entering the film and television industry, Luo Jin was always quickly selected by the main creative team and accurately grasped the role he played in a short time. In 2006, he played the tenacious soldier Song Guokin in the anti-Japanese war drama War Eyes, creating an unforgettable image. The following year, he starred in the Warm Road movie Beijing Institute of Technology University student, which truly reproduced the youthful style of contemporary college students through delicate performance. In 2009, Luo Jin played the role of Liu Yingai, a cabinet minister, in the popular costume drama Beauty Scheming. He deeply explored the emotional ups and downs of the character and performed the dark side and affinity of this little man very well. Although his role only appeared in a few scenes, it won wide acclaim from the audience and was hailed as a wonderful supporting role with explosive acting skills in the whole drama. Subsequently, Luo Jin played the role of Yang Zongbao, a military general, in Mugain Takes Command, which was completely different from his previous works. He showed the majestic posture of swinging the sword and the skilled command ability, while inspiring morale as a leader, which left a deep impression on the audience. This work showed a different Luo Jin from the past, and his outstanding performance also won unanimous praise from industry insiders. From a small role to the protagonist of a big IP drama, Luo Jin gradually accumulated with solid basic acting skills, rewarded the audience with hard work, and persevered in gaining recognition from the industry. Along the way, he has won numerous awards and his reputation has been increasing. In particular, he won the Most Anticipated Actor of the Year and the Most Media-Focused Drama Star of the Year awards for his outstanding performance in The Princess Wee Ion. He has officially become a well-known actor to the audience and has reached the peak of popularity. Loki's style and love of virtue. From being ignored to today's achievements, Luo Jin has won the reputation of powerful in acting mainly due to his focus and persistence in acting. As an actor, he is extremely strict with himself and always devotes himself to every role. Whenever he receives a new script, Luo Jin always reads the script and background information repeatedly, deeply understands the various subtle characteristics of the character, and prepares for the subsequent shaping. In order to better feel the presence, he even went into the village many times to experience the lives of the grassroots people and draw inspiration. Although this approach seems a bit excessive, it is this seriousness and concentration that demonstrates his love for the acting career. When portraying a character, Luo Jin pays special attention to capturing the inner monologue of the character and deeply feeling every psychological turning point. He once emphasized that the greatest pleasure is to interpret a role thoroughly. The audience can feel the extremely real and credible characters from his performance, which is the key to his work's winning praise. Luo Jin attaches great importance to his professional ethics. As an actor, he not only needs superb acting skills, but also must always maintain a humble and low-key work attitude. Only in this way can he avoid falling into the star syndrome, endure loneliness, and keep a clear mind. Therefore, he rarely appears in front of the media and will not take the initiative to participate in those joining the fun variety entertainment programs. He has a clear positioning of himself, I am an actor, and I should speak with my acting skills. Luo Jin's repeated recognition in his acting career is due to his focused and down-to-earth work attitude. Even though he is now a little famous, he still strictly demands himself, maintains a consistent professional spirit, and sets an example for the younger generation with practical actions. His persistent professionalism makes him highly respected in the industry. Many peers commented that he is humble and well-educated, and is a true model of an actor. As he said in an interview, that is the most real me. Life is actually just as important. No matter how brilliant a person's career achievements are, if he lacks the warmth and comfort of his family, he will inevitably feel lonely and helpless at certain moments. Luo Jin is obviously lucky because he finally found his confidant and good partner in life his wife Tang Yan. The two met and fell in love on the crew. Although they were just emerging flowers and grass at the time, their like-minded ideals made them feel like old friends at first sight. After years of getting along, their feelings gradually deepened and finally took root. In 2016, Luo Jin took the initiative to disclose his relationship with Tang Yan, allowing this relationship to thrive in the sun. In 2018, they held a wedding in Bali. 
Although the wedding was low-key, the scene was full of joy and warmth, and filled with deep love. In 2019, the two welcomed the birth of a son, and their lives have entered a new stage of married life. As life partners, Luo Jin and Tang Yan not only understand each other, but also provide solid support for each other's careers. In the process of Luo Jin shaping the role, Tang Yan often shares her life experience. After marriage, Luo Jin cherishes family time more and devotes more energy and time to accompany his children. A happy family life has brought Luo Jin an unprecedented sense of belonging and inner strength. It is this loving support that enables him to keep moving forward on the road of his acting career and become more confident. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,